Hello and a warm welcome back. This video today is about the BWD 881 Power Scope 2. It's an amazing bit of kit. Zoom you in. But it's a bit of a bugger to drive. It has four differential high voltage inputs. The vertical increments go from 0 0.1 of a volt to 200 volts per division yeah pretty far out so this can do some pretty amazing stuff however I've had trouble learning to drive this scope so at the moment if I zoom you in on the screen what's on the uh, CRT there that is the waveform 20 kilohertz and I am probing the anode and screen grid of a 5881 valve at like I said 20 kilohertz if I bung this on 1 kilohertz sort of changes alright we're getting an oscillation because the output's gone up right there okay this is a very I've got most of the manuals I'm pretty sure I've got all of the manuals that are out there on this device however it's got a very complicated sort of filter markers and all this sort of thing see all these blue controls here and so what I've been having trouble is getting it to trigger at 20 kilohertz so if you all right you can't see can you so if you try to basically you've got all these blue controls and so the problem I've had is like getting it to trigger on 20 kilohertz so you've got this black knob here which is your sort of main trigger control and I've sort of been leaving that out I forgot about it and so what I've had is like that there this N phase trigger select there and then I think what that does because the manuals aren't very specific it allows you to compare different waveforms say if you're trying to compare a three phase signal like coming off a motor or something like that compare the phase and all the rest of it so you see like we've got if I maybe turn the intensity up no I'll zoom you in onto the screen hopefully you can see there if I just get me a point, just get a pointy stick you should see like a marker there okay now then I think you see like if you're not careful these see how that's making the marker go up and down and whatnot so now it's over here Hold on. Yeah, and it moves the marker about, I think. And then I think, see, this does as well. So if you're not careful, you end up, you can't trigger on a bloody, uh, seeing that's just like drop back into like trigger. Right, let's bung in a, a um, 20 kilohertz. Right. Now with that, you can't bloody see. Now if you try to trigger at 20 kilohertz with this in, you're onto a hiding. I have played around with this for ages and you can't get a bugger to trigger. So you come out of that. See, look, you can't get it to trigger very well. But then if you muck about with this, of course it's not fucking doing it. See, it's very, it's a weird, weird scope to drive now you see I've got a lovely oh, you can't fucking see sod to film this is see I've got a nice display now lovely move that trigger over there no there no there no and then if I I'm gonna put that 
this N and if I do that it doesn't matter what I do with this control that ain't making a tuppence eight any dams worth of eight and you can play around till the cars come home and you back get it there <sighs> it's a fucking nightmare so if you want to trigger on 20 kilohertz sort of signals or above get it out of this uh, phase sort of measurement settings and then I think you're right sorry if I'm not making much sense but I've no idea how this bloody thing works I've got a rough idea but yeah and I think I think what this does like I say is measure phase between various traces and whatnot but how that does it or whether it sh actually shows you the the phase angle on this display here I really do not know see that counts up and down look but obviously this is not going to work because it's not engaged but I can't see that it there is a way at high frequency like 20 kilohertz will this work it does work though I think this will work better this old phase measuring doodah thingy I think that will work better at lower frequencies which I think this instrument is designed to look at so you're looking at like 50 Hertz 60 Hertz maybe 440 Hertz tops or something like that yeah but I hope that helps out some of you who may have one of these beasties and the other thing um, I had, I mean, I got this for a fiver, would you believe? It's an amazing thing. I mean, to be able to do what I'm doing, like looking at this, you know, really high voltage signal um, on a high voltage 12 amp is amazing. <coughs> so the, you should have, like, proper leads that go in there that are properly... Okay, what the fuck have I done now then? Don't know what I've done now. Ooh. Yeah. Let me turn this amp off. You should have proper leads that go in here. Proper high voltage leads like... Um, insulated up to a thousand volts plus and all that yeah look you see thousand volts max you can bung in there which is incredible even my um, big old analog tectronic scope can't go that high and so I had trouble finding some BNC leads probes to go in there so what I got I got some old leads and I'll just show you now. So I've got some leads like, you know, some old BNC leads that I could afford to whatnot. And I cut this out off. So you're just left with that inner sort of thing. And I think there's another way to do it where you can get like male to female or something like whatnot. But that's the easiest way I found, you know, was just to cut this outer off and they fit. However, please be careful because this, these old like sort of four for like 20 quid Chinese leads are not insulated to 1000 volts by any stretch of the imagination. So they will do, but go steady you know if you're dealing with high current shit and all that then yeah you can really go a cropper lastly that's the other thing that i need to uh that needs mentioning obviously you've got differential plugins here but and that means you've got no reference to, to earth so it's not reference to mains earth so you're not 
you know protected potentially it could like you could touch that and get like a, a fucking high voltage belt I, th I think I'm not 100% sure so what I've done if for example I was to connect this HB8903B um, this is the input like to measure RMS voltage and all that if I was to connect that to my dummy load then this would be mains earth reference and thus it could you know there could be like some crazy shit going off so what I'm doing I'm just using a digital multimeter to measure the output voltage so yes the chassis of this amplifier is mains earth referenced as is the negative terminal of the output however what we don't have if I would have connected this up to the dummy load is that the dummy load is then mains earth reference and then we've got a loop you really have to be careful with this shit so if you're not certain of what you're doing read up on it and then if you're gonna like play about and everything go steady because either you could get like really hurt here and potentially die or you end up like blowing your scope up or something like that so you really do have to know what the fuck you're doing right i hope that has helped anybody who's got one of these old scopes because there are you know a few people who have out there and they're in a, they are amazing scopes right thanks very much all of you for watching take care of yourselves ta-da for now